Ivan Dichko versus Denny's Bakhtov. Again, we have another first round knockout victory where the Olympic heavyweight bronze medalist Ivan Dichko wiped out his Russian opponent Denis Bakhtov in the opening minute of their fight at the Baluan Shalak Sports Palace in Kazakhstan on July 10, 2021. The southpaw boxer landed a big right hand on his opponent that sent him on his back as he wiggled in pain on the canvas. And the referee is in. Hemi Akio versus Julius Long. Undefeated heavyweight prospect Hemi Akio had a fight with giant sized Julius Long at the Spark Arena, Auckland, on February 27, 2021. Despite a huge difference in size, Akio looked better than his opponent, but in the fourth round, he missed several powerful blows and was knocked down. Hemi was able to continue the fight, and already at the end of the seventh round, he sent Long to the canvas with an accurate left hook. Bermain Stiverne vs. Trevor Bryan On January 21, 2021, Bermain Stiverne faced Trevor Bryan at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood for the vacant WBA World Heavyweight title. Manuel Char was declared champion in recess after not being able to defend the world title in 38 months. Bryan, who hasn't been in the ring for 29 months, won via an 11th round stoppage after flooring Stefan twice in the same round. There's a right hand coming right now. There it is, and down goes Stefan. Although Stefan managed to get back up on time the two times, the referee quickly intervened after a short follow up attack from Brian. One, two, bang. Bang, there it is. That was the beginning of the end. And he hooked it up. He threw all the other because he had. Bang. That's the win. Brian with the right hand again. Another right hand. It's over. Brian in the corner, and that's it. Frank Gentile says that's enough. And Vladislav Sirenko versus Alexander Ustinov. On September 10, 2021, Vladislav Sirenko defeated Alexander Ustinov via knockout at the opening round of their fight at Roland Garros in Paris, France. The WBC Asia heavyweight champion Vladislav Sirenko defended his title well with a powerful right to the head that knocked out Ustinov. Decarry Scott versus Jaden Booth. On July 16, 2021, Decarry Scott and Jaden Booth faced off at the Buckhead Fight Club in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. While the fight was expected to be a tough one between two heavyweight boxers who have a history of knocking out their opponents, it was mostly one-way traffic, with Scott landing the better shot. The fight ended in the opening round after Scott connected a devastating right, putting Booth to sleep. Fury vs. Wilder 3 After two previous fights, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder met for a third time at the T-Mobile Arena in Paradise, Nevada on October 9, 2021. Their first bout ended in a draw while Fury won the second fight via a seventh-round technical knockout. 
Wilder was looking for revenge in their third rematch, and this made this fight one of the best matches of the year. Fury was the first to send Wilder to the canvas towards the end of the third round with a right hook, followed by a right uppercut. Wilder also sent Fury to the canvas two different times. Piling on the pressure is the Gypsy King able to recover here in round four. Oh, down for the second time. Oh, it's just like tit for tat, so it's like, all right, you're going to go and do that. I'll respond. Oh, boom goes the big right hand. But it was Fury who caused the final damage in the 11th round with a clean right to Wilder's temple that caused him to collapse on the floor. Ali Kedin vs. Pablo Matias Magrini On March 6, 2021, Ali Kedin defeated Matias Magrini via a knockout in the final seconds of the first round of their bout at Ferrat Sports Center in Germany. Kedin threw a perfectly timed left that sent his opponent crashing on the canvas. He just gets caught in the moment. He's a, he's a, he's a, oh, he gets caught. Talking about getting caught, he's just caught his opponent with a right hand left hook that has wobbled his socks off. Michael Wallish versus Murad Gassiev. On July 22, 2021, Michael Wallish faced Murat Gassiev at the Dinamo Volleyball Arena in Moscow, Russia. In the fourth round, Gassiev reasserts himself as a heavyweight contender by knocking out Wallish with a big overhand right. <laughs> Although Wallish managed to beat the count, he was still wobbly, and Gassiev took the fight to him, forcing the referee to intervene and stop the fight. New fellow Wata vs. Vladislav Sirenko On June 12, 2021, Vladislav Sirenko defeated new fellow Tua by a knockout in the fourth round at Akko International Hotel, Kiev, Ukraine. Sirenko had the upper hand throughout the fight, and he first dropped his opponent in the second round with a big right to the head. Then again in the fourth round, Sirenko found an opening and landed a big left on the body, causing serious damage to Uanta, who went straight on his knee. Although he looked like he could beat the count, he didn't bother to stand on his feet to continue with the fight. За попередніх опонентів влади. Давайте ще раз подивимось повтори цього поєдинку. Хорошо прикормив так ударами в голову француза Влад і в итоге от візуально так не сказати, що це такий потрясний якийсь. Pavetkin versus White 2. Dylan White successfully avenged his shock defeat by Alexander Povetkin with an emphatic fourth-round knockout of the Russian in Saturday's eagerly awaited and delayed heavyweight rematch in Gibraltar. And again, and he wobbles again, leaves his left hand, gets his other. But he's all over the place and picks it up and says, oh. So much respect. Yeah, that is a really nice touch. I'll tell you what, Victor Lockley did a good job there, the referee. Yeah, I'm, I'm 99% certain. Dubois vs. Dinu. Heavyweight prospect Daniel Dubois got back in action and back in the winner's circle, knocking out Bogdan Dinu early in the second round with a big right hook. Is it 
Pavel Sauer vs. Arslan Bekmakmudov. Last but not least is the fight where Arslan Bekmakmudov defended his NABF heavyweight title against Pavel Sauer on July 23, 2021 at Hotel Holiday Inn in Cuernavaca, Morelos, Mexico. Mahmudov wasted no time as he defeated Sauer via knockout in the first round to retain his NABF heavyweight title. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new video. See you soon.